But in all honesty, safety and health is always got to take priority. It must always take priority, and we always have to be worried. Let's be honest with ourselves about our the history of, as a society, of us blowing it. Let's look at asbestos. Let's look at smoking. We were all told that was okay, and we learned the consequences. And the list goes on and on, global warming. <laughs> you know, it, 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 there's a long list of times where actually, well, uh, it, it's not always corrupt, to tell you the truth. People who meant well and believed in, in the science that they were doing got it wrong. And we've seen a lot of science here on both sides, and anybody that tells you that it's easy for those of us that are not scientists is wrong. I spent a lot of time on the science of this. I've watched videos and read reports and studies and like all my colleagues that care so much about this. And I determined that we have to figure out a way to protect our residents and protect ourselves without destroying the ability to have small cell wireless technology. We have to make sure that if this turns out to be like asbestos or smoking, we're not going to turn to our children and grandchildren and they say, what did you do about it? So I want to be able to turn to them and to turn to everyone and to say, we need to figure out how to protect ourselves. Personally, as many people know, I, from the beginning, was very interested in these setbacks. I think the setbacks by keeping them away from our residences. And I was assured that our, that our new, that our amendment from, of 250 from the nearest residential structures will also cover our schools. And if we can keep this away from our kids and keep this away from our homes, hopefully if we're if it turns out to be detrimental, which I know many people strongly believe and I certainly hope is not, we will have it hopefully a distance that will make a difference to protect the health and safety of many people in our residents. So this wasn't simple. I will for sure be supporting these amendments that we all worked or most that we all worked so hard on. I am very pleased to see that we are also going to, you know, add in that these guys need to show their compliance uh, by hiring engineers to double check their work and what's coming out of these small cell wireless uh, facilities. So that's basically the story. I'm honored and pleased to have worked with everyone on this, and I will be supporting, strongly supporting these amendments as a way to protect us because. Honestly, I don't know.